What's up, YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D here with some more CES 2019 coverage. I am at the SVS booth. I'm here with Nick. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing awesome. Thanks for coming out, Chana. Of course, of course. So why don't you let everybody know like all your new stuff and all the cool stuff you guys are doing at SVS? Yeah, it's been a, a crazy show so far. We have uh, two separate rooms set up. Uh, on one room right behind us, we have our Prime Wireless. Our Prime Wireless room, we're setting up a uh, ton of vignettes over there we have like a bar we have a kitchen with a subwoofer we have a desktop <laughs> setup and we were trying to create some trends here by uh, by showing the different capabilities of multi-room audio that we have with prime wireless um, but also telling a, a high fidelity story too it's like uh, a lot of brands are doing this sort of mono wireless speaker where you have it set up and it sort of sits by itself we're doing a true stereo separation so you get that imaging you get that immersive impact that you really don't get from a mono speaker so uh, people have loved it um, you know we're, we're we're having a lot of fun playing some different deep tracks from uh, from people coming in and it's just sort of a different demo experience than you're going to find anywhere else here at CES. That's really cool and I do like that you know the, getting that stereo separation you get that like 3D aspect of the mix and the recording. And That's that. absolutely right and I think a lot of people miss out on on that aspect of music because uh, you know you're listening to it either in a mono setup or in some sort of compressed file and so all of that detail like you know you hear a, like a bassist over here and sort of the drummer coming from over here and being able to place all that sound in, in different areas of the room um, you only get that with true stereo separation and that's a big story we're trying to tell with Prime Wireless. Yeah you know my favorite demo track which I brought on a flack is the uh, Hotel California live from Hell Freezes Over. Like I can close my eyes and I can see all four people on the stage. Like it's 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 awesome. It's funny you say that. That is like one of the most widely requested audiophile test tracks for the exact reason that you said because yes. people have heard it so many times. But when you hear it in sort of a, a, a high quality system, it sort of transcends and, and you just get all this detail and, and this sort of sound that you never even expected. Yeah, no, it's really cool. Well, cool. So that's Prime Wireless. What else you got? Yeah, so in this room, we're actually doing a full-on home theater setup. We have a 5.1.2 setup. Um, we're debuting a new speaker, which I might be able to tell you something about in a minute. But uh, more importantly, we have our 3000 series subwoofers. Uh, we're running the SB3000, which is our sealed model, uh, PB3000, which is the ported model, 850 watts RMS, 2500 watts peak power, fully discrete MOSFET output, which means really we can pass as much possible current we need into that motor to drive the driver and, and create just amazing output, both relative to the cabinet size, but also for the driver size. And, and one of the ways we were able to do that, and, and I always mess this up, but I'm gonna try to say it right, we did a edge wound split wind voice coil. And essentially what that is, if you know what a, a voice coil is, it's right. sort of a copper and, and aluminum that's wrapped around this former, and that's what creates the magnetics that moves the driver. by layering on the copper and aluminum a little thicker on the two poles, when you hit those max excursion levels of the subwoofer driver, you're getting just insane amounts of output relative to that 13 inch driver size and the motor. And, and it really allowed us to just get a tremendous amount of impact when, you, when the uh, content really demands it the most. Um, so, you know, we're, for a 15 inch box squared all around for our SB3000, people are comparing it to like ported subwoofers that are three times the size, three times the price. So, I mean, it's really just taken control of this room and energized it. Um, and then aside from that in our system, we're showing our prime elevation, which I think you might know something about, uh, doing the, the uh, Dolby Atmos and DTS, DTSX height effects. Um, just adding that level of immersive sound and that sort of dome that you're not gonna hear anywhere else here at uh, the Venetian. Uh, a lot of two channel here. We wanted to bring something different and have some fun with home theater. Very cool, very cool. And I'm, I'm noticing the size of that PB3000 is, it's pretty large compared to the SB, and the SB actually looks very, very compact, so that's really cool. It absolutely is, and, and for, for its size, you, you absolutely, if you close your eyes, you're going to think you're listening to a subwoofer that's three, four times as big, so it, it's quite amazing. But when you make that step up to ported, um, you know, you're going to get a little bit deeper frequency extension, you're going to get more greater dynamic output, but you're also going to take up a lot more floor space. So, you know, we, uh, we, we like to have both sides of it where you can have the tighter, speedier sort of musicality of a sealed box subwoofer that can still hit really low but if you just want to bowl yourself over you get the ported model and actually if you get a chance to get some pictures of our uh, pb16 ultra cutaway that is our behemoth and you can actually see the inner workings of uh, of how the subwoofer is designed from uh, from the inside yeah no i see it it's it's right over there i'll definitely um uh, take some video for you guys to check out yeah it's been a popular selfie station people get over there and they're like you know in front of the sub the speaker's so, bigger than my face exactly <laughs> that, it, it's a fun thing um, so one other thing that's new that might be hovering behind me, which we're not going to say too much about, but it is CES. We have an opportunity to talk to thousands of people coming through the show. It's our prime pinnacle tower speaker. Um, if you know SVS, you know we have our, our ultra line and we have our prime line. 
uh, the Ultra Tower. Uh, it's a phenomenal reference quality speaker, uh, but it is sort of a unique form factor. It has this sort of sweeping bottom, these dual opposing eight inch woofers. It really loves a little bit of room to breathe, some air around it so you can get and take advantage of all of that, uh, that low frequency extension and output. Uh, what we were doing at the Prime Pinnacle is to create a uh, speaker in between the two series, but really, pretty much as, uh, as much audiophile refinement as you can get from a you know $1,500 a pair set of speakers. And we spent the last year voicing these. And, and speaker design really is sort of a, a science and art thing. The science sure, is bring sure. them in an anechoic chamber, make sure they measure flat and they're perfect. The artistry is the voicing, bringing them into different rooms, trying a lot of different content. And so we've spent a year getting these to where they are. And they're a much slimmer profile than our Ultra Tower speaker. And I would argue they're more refined and they have greater accuracy. Not quite the output and the low frequency extension, but you're going to be able to place them in a room much easier because of their profile. So we are super excited about those coming in spring. <laughs> spring. All right. Well, you heard it here first, guys. And uh, they're actually over there, so I get to listen to them. And if you guys have any questions about them, I'll definitely answer them. Well, I know um, it's, it's, there's a lot going on, and I thank you so much, Nick, for your time. Um, and you guys, like I said, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like and share the video. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Chana D, your techno dad, has got more CES 2019 videos coming your way. So we'll see you on the next one. Can I get a T-shirt, too? <laughs> you want to, I love this thing. Need, we need more bass. I mean, seriously. We need. You, we need more bass. If you're a musician, bass. like this, should be on the top of your wish list right here. And and this might, we might have to uh, to borrow this design because honestly, that's a clever little thing you got going on. Hey, there. awesome, awesome. I love it. I'm glad you guys love it. All right, have a good one, guys. Peace.